I was diagnosed in December of 2005. However, my PSA had gradually increased over a 10-year span from 4.0 to about 11. And when it reached 7, I had a biopsy, and the biopsy came back negative. When it reached 10.5, I had another biopsy, and the biopsy came back negative. But in the meantime, I uh, knew that I had prostate cancer because I'd had an MRI in Thailand, and I got the films, and I could see the bulge in the prostate uh, shell. So I, I knew that the biopsy was not effective. So I went to Duke Vaughan in Ventura uh, four months after my last one, and Duke took 12 uh, samples and found cancer in 10 of them and made the statement. He says, I can't understand how they missed it. So the traditional 12 biopsy without any guidance can be ineffective in today's world. We need to have guidance, and they can do that today with color Doppler or multi-parametric uh, MRI, uh, a lot of things that can direct the biopsy to the cancerous part of the tissue. Well, I found the support group because I wanted knowledge. As you can tell, the way I respond to what's happened is I'm aggressively looking for knowledge of what can I do about this. Uh, all our lives, uh, we're taught to listen to your doctor. Your doctor will take care of you. Well, there's so many variables of prostate cancer, and everybody responds differently. There's probably 27, I think, now identified uh, different strains of prostate cancer. And for every strain of prostate cancer that you find, it uh, reacts differently in every body it attends. So every person is like a snowflake. Everybody's prostate cancer is different. There's no set cookie cutter set of instructions. Most uh, doctors that treat a lot of cancers aren't really aware of just how many variables there are of this. And so I had got in and started to learn myself what's going on. And I, it was. I was led to a support group because that's one of the ways you learn. And how did I get to be the leader of the support group? It's amazing. The more work you take on, the more they move you up the ladder. So uh, I was able to move up the ladder simply because I was diligent, I, I liked what I was doing, I was learning, and I was teaching at the same time. And I've enjoyed every minute of teaching this support group and, and, and helping people, giving them information to make their own decisions because no longer can you depend on the doctor totally. You are now the CEO of your own body and your doctors are your board of advisors. I don't say don't listen to the doctors. Obviously, their information is, is very, very valuable. But you have to evaluate it for your own body, how it feels for you. You take a, a drug and how does it affect you? Is your quality of life, uh, is your quantity of life worth giving up some quality of life? So how did I get there? That's how I got there and I'm enjoying every minute because to have these people come in to me and say, I'm scared, what can I do? Well, the Prostate Forum of Orange County was founded about 20 years ago. And uh, it, uh, it's probably one of the more successful support groups. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why it is because I don't attend too many other support groups. But we do have, once a month, we do have uh, a prominent prostate cancer oncologist or uh, another prominent doctor of another field come in and speak to us when the other field is all related to prostate cancer. It could be scanning. It could be immunotherapy, it could be any number of things that, that apply to prostate cancer. We put that on a video a CD and we video stream it onto the internet. So anybody can go on our website and look up any subject on prostate cancer that they want and we'll have a video from a prominent doctor on there for you. So, but you know, you can only do so much on the internet. In today's world, the prostate groups are shrinking. Uh, five years ago, we had 37 groups in, or yeah, 37 groups in the LA Basin area. Now we're down to about 19, because everybody's going to the internet to try and get.
get what they want. So we're taking that and we're feeding the internet. We're saying, okay, let's, if you can't beat them, let's join them. But there is nothing like a face-to-face -to, -face to get people the information that they need to help them make the decisions that they need to make and take the information that they get from us and the information that they get from their doctors and the suggestions that they get from the doctors and make their own personal decisions on what's best for them. We have meetings on the second and fourth Thursdays of the month in Fullerton, California. The uh, meeting on the uh, second Thursday of the month is uh, held at uh, 11.30 and it's uh, basically for newly, newly diagnosed people. Uh, if anybody has a uh, uh, more advanced disease, we will uh, take you there and give you information also. But we're predominantly at that point uh, having a meeting for the newly diagnosed, the people that are really anxious and it's during the day and they don't want to wait till the fourth Thursday, which we have our evening meeting. Now we have our evening meeting on the fourth Thursday and at five o'clock in the evening, we have two groups. We have the newly diagnosed group and the advanced group. I personally uh, give information to the advanced group and uh, try and help the people that have had reoccurrent uh, cancer, uh, give them the latest information on what they can do to control it, and live forever and ever and ever and die of something else. In addition to that, we have a women's group. Now two months out of the year, we will have what we call a sharing session, where we'll be bringing anybody in and we don't bring them in, any member that wants to come in and divide up and specifically talk about uh, a new treatment or anything that applies to them personally, we'll have... Uh, tables, we'll have about six tables set up with moderators at each table and we'll have tables on surgery, on radiation treatment, on biochemical relapse, uh, on diet and nutrition which is a critical part of this whole operation uh, and one or two other tables depending on what experts we have around to moderate.